Over 5,000 of you tuned in to see how uniquely shaped veteran Akiseyama equaled his best ever sumo score in September. That put him on the top rank of Division 2 for November, theoretically just 8 wins away from a top division return, having been in Division 3 as recently as January. Make of his physique what you will, but never write off a man with a Saitama Sakai education. One of his biggest September successes was a force out of the man who came joint runner up with him, skillful lightweight Midori Fuji, who provided his first test in November. The inevitable clash of styles made for a gripping match. Midori's attempts to flip him sideways are thwarted by the left arm clamp, leading him to suddenly shift balance and hope the giant falls. But the most defined part of the giant's body, the legs, are in fine shape and won't topple easily. From here on in, we are in classic Akiseyama standstill territory, in which he usually wears down his foe. Despite failing to get a favoured inside left, his right is easily strong enough to drive back an exhausted opponent. The popular Kise stableman dove forward in similar fashion on day two, but against a wily Chiyoshoma who always beats him, was simply outjumped. Against the man's stablemate Chiyono O on day three, though, he showed himself to be unafraid to thrust knocking the body away just enough to make room for his favoured inside left. But the following day, he was unable to protect his belt from Ishiura's muscly arms, and was thrown down from underneath. Day 5 saw him uncharacteristically full start against a man even older than him. When the match actually started, he baited Thruster Shohozan with a phony offer of a shoving match, then again made room for his inside left. Shohozan used his legs well to escape, then broke out of a right arm clamp to continue stabbing away with the right, hoping to slash inside. A familiar path beaten from stare down to wear down. A swinging left arm clamp was deployed, but the right was stopped from completing the job.
In the end, no right was needed. A third left arm clamp from a straighter angle sent Shawhorzan down after two minutes and one second. Akisayama has always been one to place trust in the fans' patience. But on day six, his topsy-turvy start continued when he failed to breach Chiyomaru's short, sharp thrusting defences, sensing doom with a grimace once his left was made to hang loose. A stroke of luck on the seventh day took him to four and three, courtesy of a default win connected with Kotoshogiku's retirement. Well rested, Akisayama wasted no time in getting the left inside against Nishikigi on day eight, before surprising him with a pulling throw from the other side. But Akua, who trounced him on the final day in September, proved too strong once more in the belt battle on day nine even with an inside left conceded. <laughs> Dayamami was just as keen to block that inside left on day 10. This time, however, Akisayama was prepared, feeling the overcommitment and thrusting over from the outside. With five to fight, he was just two wins from top division promotion. The pressure seemingly got to him on day 11, when he was forced out by the same Wakamoto Haru he easily crushed in September, and when hit with a more upright attack than Dayamami's, he lost on day 12 as well. His Sakai-trained sumo brain thus concluded it was time to mix things up. A sidestep, a thrusting blitz, and repeated slapdown moves comprised the last kind of sumo cocktail Azumaryu expected to be served. And on day 14, he forewent the belt again, opting to stand ground, then simply parry Kyokutaisei across the ring. Tactical flexibility had thus gotten him over the eight win line. Now to fight for a higher rank in January against fellow Saitama Sakai man. Tsurugisho. Simple is best, just reel him in and slap him down. After 27 tournaments, the fourth longest top division comeback in sumo history was complete. Incredible, but true. Four and a half years after resolving to give up, and for just the second time in his 76 tournament, 13 year professional career, Akisayama finds himself in Division 1, just six months shy of 36.